joke of the week. Yes, joke of the week. This is the part of the show where I where I tell you true stories, which which may be true, they may be jokes, they may be jokes rooted in truth. You know, it's just really hard to tell, and who cares? What's the difference? It doesn't matter. The point is, it's just about Easter. It is Easter week, and we've got some important stuff to tell. So I was talking with my kids, and they were like, so why does the bunny hide eggs? Why does the bunny do that? First, eggs. Second, hide them. I, I don't get it. And I said, because, of course, um, Christ is risen. And my son goes, Jesus Christ. And I was like, whoa, hey, whoa. That language may fly around here, young man. But if you say, he goes, no, no, I was clarifying. I was clarifying. Jesus Christ? And I was like, oh, okay, you know what? No, that's fine. That's fine. No, but, but to answer the question about the eggs, that's why we... Uh, that's why we decorate them. So wait, we paint eggs because why? I said, well, because because tattooing them would leave them shattered. <laughs> uh, oh, and he goes, no, no, no. So the eggs have nothing to do with Jesus. I go, well, uh, he goes, no, no. The bunny has nothing to do with Jesus. Well, no. The can candy has nothing to do with Jesus. I go, no, no, that's, listen, that's why we hide them all, is because if, if Jesus saw them, he'd be, he'd just be super pissed. He's like, yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense. And I said, it, a son, my son, it doesn't require sense. It requires faith. Now, they, they didn't accept that as an answer. And like, so why, why the bunny exactly? And I was like, well, because only a rabbit or a frog can wish you a hoppy Easter. And an Easter frog? I mean, that's, that's weird. I mean, Valentine's Day's already got the toad. I mean, it, at least that's, I assume that's where the HPV comes from. I, I guess I've never really looked into it. So, yeah. And it's like, so, so the chocolate, what's, what's the deal with the chocolate? And I'm like, do you want the chocolate or not? And he's like, Your Honor, I'd like to strike my last question from the record. Now, I think I told this story back uh, back around Christmas, but it was great. It was about four or five, maybe, yeah, four or five years ago. We're driving down the street. I remember it clear as day, 188th Street South at International Boulevard, left-hand turn lane by the Taco Bell. And one of the boys, I think it was Brendan, said, or no, it was Dom, said, how come the Easter baskets we get uh, are the same ones that they sell at the store? Because they remembered, you know, they, they've seen the basket at the store, and then they get it, and they're like, wait, the Easter Bunny shops at Walmart? That, and, I, and, I, and I said, wait, well, why do you think that is? He said, I don't want to say. I go, you don't, you don't want to say? Nope. I don't want to, well, why don't you want to say? I, I just don't want to say. I tell you what, is it because you think if you say the wrong thing, you won't get an Easter basket? He said, yep. I said, I tell you what, you just answer the question, no matter what you say, you're still getting an Easter basket. He said, okay. I think there is no Easter bunny, and you are the ones buying baskets. I said, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, if that was the case, would you be okay with that? And he said, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as, I mean, I just want the basket. I said, okay, that, that is, in fact, what is happening. We are the ones buying the baskets. And we kind of sit there, and then Brenda goes, wait, who gives me money for my teeth? Oh, God, it all came unraveling in just a matter of seconds. All of it. The Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. It wasn't said, but it was suggested. Santa Claus, um, Vishnu, all of it. It just came unfurling in a big, massive pop, like a magician throwing confetti all over a woman's face. It was 
it was really crazy. And that's that's the story about how my kids figured out Easter. And and where does Easter end? Well, Easter ends with pirates. And I don't mean at Easter Island, and I don't mean with, uh, you know, those pirates off the coast of Africa. No, those Somali guys, they're dangerous. But no, Easter ends, as all good pirates will tell you, with an R. <sighs> yeah, that was... Uh, that was the joke of the week. <laughs>